Hi, Tracy here with WildJournalMinistries.com and today I'm doing a review on the Artist Lost Watercolors Pan Set that I got at Michael's today. This set is, retails for $9 and it has 28 colors in it. Now I was able to pick up this set for 50% off so it only cost me $4.50. So not a big investment, super inexpensive and it's got some really great colors so I'm excited to give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and use it to color both in my Strathmore Mixed Media book, <laughs> sketchbook, and I'm going to also use it to color something in my Inspired Bible. So we're going to be able to see it go. Does it work in the Bible and does it work in, in the Mixed Media Journal? So let's go ahead and open it up. It comes plastic shrink wrapped, which hopefully means it stays fresh. <laughs> fresh artist watercolors. I am a fan of trying to find art supplies that are cheap because I typically like to test them out because not, you know, not everybody can get an expensive set of watercolors and if we can find cheap ones and let people see how they work and if it works for for what you need it to work for then why spend the money on a on you know an expensive set. I do have expensive sets because I do a lot of art and I love my nice sets, but man, I just want to share if I can find sets that are worth that are worth the money or that are cost effective. So I just drew this with um, a, a pit pen or a micron. Actually, it was a micron precision pen. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick up some color. I'm going to start light. I like starting light. These feel a little chalky, which is fine. Um, oh, and. They go on kind of not very, I mean, nice. They seem to go on nice. Not as little, I thought they'd go on thinner than this, but they're not. They're actually going on pretty thick. Wow, it seems like this is kind of more opaque than I expected. And I wonder if it's because of the filler that they're using. Now, whenever you buy any kind of artist, any kind of art, art supplies. You know, you're, there's always pigment that comes in the set that you're buying, but then there's always some kind of filler. So it looks like whatever filler they're using in this seems to be kind of a chalky base, which is probably why it's giving it kind of an opaque look to it. Well, I don't know if opaque's the right word, but I think you get it. A little darker than I thought it would be. Ugh, I'm enjoying it. It's going on real nice. I always say I start with the light colors because I can always add more color. But this came on actually darker than I thought it was going to come on. Okay, I just finished the Strathmore mixed media journal part and I just I think this is really pretty but I can see it is already drying chalky so if that is a concern to you this is not, might not be the brand for you but I'm going to let it dry and I've got some lettering to do so I, while this is drying I'm going to go ahead and work in the book of Nehemiah so I'm going to be reading a little bit so I'll fast forward through that and then I will go ahead and get started with this this section here. Okay, we're back. The at first, I really liked it as it was going on. As it was going on, I was like, this is a great set. It looks so great. It blends well together. I love it. And now that it's dry, I actually don't like it. So <laughs> um, it's, a, it's okay. Uh, it's a great, I mean, you could use it to start out with, but I think that I would probably... I think I'm going to be out on the lookout for maybe some other watercolors and hopefully that video will come out and um, it'll be the best budget watercolor set ever video, but it's not. 
this is not the best watercolor set ever. Uh, for $4.50, half price, I mean, it's not bad. And it came out, I mean, this looks beautiful. My problem with this is it's got this chalky film to it. So I'm going to try to throw a fixative on here. You know, go spray it on here, put it on here, and see if that kind of helps with the shine at all. But, you know, it's starting to, some of this paint, I put a lot on there, so some of it's starting to flake off, which is disappointing. So I can't really recommend, this is probably the first video I've ever, you know, made where I said I can't recommend something. But I really, I really would not invest another $5 in this set unless I really wanted to just try watercolors but it's got such a the only thing that I really could say that I liked about this was as I was making these clouds there's this white chalk line I'm not sure if you can see it but there's this white chalk line that gives it a beautiful kind of billowy look <laughs> and I really like that look I mean it just looks like the clouds are forming and and so I shot out some a white rays coming out from it and then I outlined the you know the um, flowers and things and you know I'm, I'm pleased with the way this came out but as I was drying it some of the watercolor started to flake off I'm not sure even if you can see this but I'll bring it up to the camera but it, it's starting to flake off a little bit here so maybe I put too many layers on it. I just, I've not ever had watercolor flake off before. So it's gotta be this filler that they're using. Yeah, you can see it starting to flake off. All these little pieces come off, which is disappointing. So I'll probably throw some fixative on top of this and hopefully that will um, make it not flake off. I didn't gesso, so there's really not, you know, it's not like, I mean, it definitely didn't bleed through. But I didn't gesso it, so maybe it's having a hard time adhering to this 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 Bible page. But even if even if I did gesso it, at the end of the day, this chalky feeling just isn't isn't for me. So if you're okay with the chalky feeling and you want to get this pretty billowy look, I mean it it really does look beautiful. I'm very happy with the way this piece looks. It's just got this film to it. So I'm gonna do a fixative over it and see how how it turns out. So hopefully this video was helpful to you and maybe you like the idea of of a chalky kind of finish and that's for you then this set will work for you. If that's not for you then stay tuned because <laughs> we are going to find an amazing watercolor set. I know um, that's a budget set because I know some of my other videos have watercolor sets like the Illustrated Faith and the Kurtaki ones that I love and I really do love them, um, but I really am in search of a cheap set. So stay tuned. We're going to find one. I have the Crayola ones sitting around here somewhere, and I think I'm going to give those a shot next. All right. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Come visit us online at BibleJournalingMinistries.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. <music>